hello everybody welcome to another ride along with goggles and uh this doesn't look like a too different a uh, episode but what we're going to do this time is we're going to do a world of trucks contract because hey why not visit 15 set cities uh, and uh certainly intend to do that so i thought well world of trucks let's give her a go so we're in the uh, port of galveston uh and down here on the port and got a load of lumber and we're heading for dallas with it so a uh, rail yard in dallas i believe so it should be pretty interesting should be a good trip um i was, I was trying to get a world of trucks between corpus christi and uh this port because uh i did a trip on my own earlier today uh just to see the road I just wanted to drive it and man what a great drive if you haven't done it try and uh, oh I used the um, uh, I got myself a load um, using the uh, uh, content browser you know the company checking on the companies and it worked uh, pretty good got the load we wanted Trying to think of what it was. Uh, uh, palleted animal food. Or animal feed or whatever they called it. Food? Not sure. I think it was food. On the way into, where were we going? Oh, it was that airport where they made you uh, wait the other day. Thought that was kind of cool. Sort of realistic that you'd have to wait. Like all the bumps they have across here. All the railroad tracks. It's something they've made too smooth in the past, I think. It's funny how fast the uh, wheels go up and down though. Looks like some automated machine. Some kind of assembly line punch press with the wheels going up and down rhythmically, rhythmically like that. So, you know, this will be a road we haven't been on yet. I have not, uh, I haven't been on very, you know, just a small percentage of the roads and everything I've done so far has been a new experience. So this will be the same. Unfortunately, I think this, uh, oh, I should put the windows up so we can hear what we're doing. Oh, not yet. Um, World of Trucks says, uh, I think I'm going to be limited to 65 miles an hour. It's been a while since I've done one, but. Oh, I don't hear Lori. What's going on there? Hold on. I uh, just updated my Zmod voice mod. It says it's sorry. It doesn't seem to be working. Oh no. Well, that's no good. Ooh, I better try somebody else then. Uh, what's this one that uh, Recon uses? Sky. <laughs> Old Granny. Oh Lord, watch your speed! <laughs> All right, that's <laughs> let's go with your Old Granny. Oh man, that's funny. <laughs> it might get really irritating. <laughs> we'll have to change it, but. Uh, We'll go with that for now. <laughs> oh, too funny. Oh, we may not. Oh, 
Oh yeah, we do. This is got a bridge. I stopped and took some photos here on the way over on the last trip. The old country squire wagon. 67, I would say. I was mentioning that last video, I had a 67 Galaxy 500. It was kind of cool. Two door. So it says I can go 65, so I guess I better not just follow that guy and get on with it. There we are, we're maxed out. That's full. Throttle to the floor. Oh, now they change it to 60. Oh, look at that. Well, it lets me continue on at 65 and a 60, so we'll do it to make up for when we get on a 75 mile an hour road and we'll be going 65. Uh, it's a position I don't like to be in. I hate, uh, you know, like, you know, I don't want to be the fastest guy on the road, but I don't want to be the slowest because you're just constantly in the thick of traffic. Now I keep left there. Oh, stay left. Okay. Well, I'm going to have to learn this gal's lingo. Learn something else. Now I keep left there. <laughs> Okay. Now I keep left there. <laughs> oh, jeez. All right. Yeah, this can get old quick. I guess we'll let her run through her uh, repertoire of... Something going on up ahead here. Wow, there's no speed change in that construction zone. Look at that, eh? Wow, eh? The big city. Amazing. It's a lot of work. Frame rates are pretty good through here. 90, we're up and around 90, uh, 87, and we're going down a little bit. Shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> That's probably the bridge is getting close. Oops. Stay on the road here. Oh, there's. I keep left there. <laughs> That's all we've heard her say. Dallas, there we go, just follow the signs. Here's my sign. Let's look at some of this scenery. Seeing our re. Oh, we might have to get over a lane here. That's he's coming up on us just in case. Yeah, keep left there. Yeah, we got it, Granny. <laughs> I wonder what she'd say if you got lost or made a mistake. The rate I go, she'll probably find out. Oh. 
inspection station ahead. guys got to get out of that lane or what are they going to do? I guess I should turn off. I must have the way station frequency mod in. I should turn it off so I get to go through a few of these places. See what they look like. Looks kind of traditional there. this dude here? Must be Sam Houston. Yeah. So 145 to go. Won't be a terribly long video. But, uh, so, yeah, by the time you see this, I'll have had the uh, video on uh, picking your load using the uh, content browser out, as I mentioned earlier, which works great. And, uh, yeah, because, I mean, by default, you throw a trailer on the truck and go looking for loads. I'm getting Abilene and uh, El Paso. That's it. Crazy. Speaking of which, I gotta go get a load out of, out of El Paso and have a look, cause I sure went there a lot when uh, before Texas was released in my little sneak a peek across the border videos. Not right. keep left there. All right, Granny. Um, yeah, so we gotta do that. You should be able to get a world of truck load out of there. World of trucks. Uh, I need to, uh, yeah, I'd like to do this and get the uh, little, whatever they're going to give you, a little hangy thing for the air freshener or something. I kind of wish I had done that event for uh, Montana, but I didn't. The other thing I was just thinking as we're passing this coronet here, that uh, it's, uh, well, I believe that's a coronet, it's they got GTX written on it, could be uh, supposed to be a GTX, but anyway, um, yeah, these, uh, I'm always complaining about how slow the uh, uh, classic truck and trailer pack and uh, Chazzy Cat's vintage uh, cars go on the road. Well, now I'm down there with them, so. Uh, no complaining now. I'm just part of the problem going 65 and a 75. I'll get a better look at them. There are some new ones uh, that I haven't quite identified that I just sort of caught a glimpse of. There's so many that uh, I still I can't claim to have seen all of them up close enough to identify them. So there's that. This is the bright side. Get back out and look at some scenery. Oh, we got to take a, a photo of the truck as I drive off the road. Okay, we'll get right before she tells us. I imagine this highway is just going to go straight on up to Dallas, so probably have to get back in the left lane if this turns into an exit ramp at some point. Yeah, so far I'm really, really liking the game, although I'm just really perturbed about the lack of cattle. To, you know, 
should be a higher density of uh, cattle hauling. But I got a little map preview from a recon of a new uh, feedlot uh, up in um, Bovina. He's going to put Bovina on the map, which isn't now. I think the town is there. i got to talk to him about it because I, I haven't talked to him personally. It's just been via uh, Discord chat uh, messages says uh, he's working today. But, um, oh, today being Wednesday, uh, he'll, um, I'll chat with him tonight about it, what's going on. But uh, it could be good. He could be the man who saves us for us, gets us some cattle hauling down here in cattle country. say something different. <laughs> what was that movie Throw Mama from the Train? They'll have a sequel, Throw Granny from the Truck. Classic uh, frontage road situation here. Oh, what's going on over there? There's a big honking feedlot or something back there. Maybe it's just a rodeo ground. Oh, Keep there right we go. And then exit right. Keep right and then exit right. Well, we got called into the scale. I wonder how this is going to go over exit with it. Exit right. We're going to hear some complaining here. We follow this. Well, we got to uh, got to follow our way to the scale here. I think it's right there. Oh, this guy's waiting. Oh, see. All right. I guess I took too long. Oh, let's see how disappointed she can get. Okay, let's find a new route. <laughs> oh, she's just too optimistic. Too sunny. Yeah, I think this will be Granny's last trip. for Dallas. Get ready to turn right. All right, Granny. We're on it. Turn right. 
very right. Well, I really wonder why Lori doesn't work in this. Uh, it's Gen 4 Lori, uh, or voice nav from CMOD. It doesn't seem to work. I have to switch back to the old version. Get ready to turn right. Saw that in the introductory or the uh, pre release video. Turn left. I wonder if that's where we're going. Maybe it is. Yep. Oh, hold on there. Safety first. Oh, he wants our lights on. Jeez, I forgot to put them on. Now, what do we do here? Let's better go this way. Oh, shoo, boy. Oh, no. I don't think we want to be here. We want to be going through the other one. doing every other one. I don't know why I thought this would be different. I don't know what all that blinking stuff is all about there. It's, it's, what are the symbols all about there? It's, oh, is that some, I don't know, some kind of inspection thing, maybe on the way out. Oh, well, maybe we get it on the way in here. Okay. Finding a new route. Oh, disappointed the granny. I don't think, I think this is what we're supposed to be doing. We're trying to go in the exit back there. Oh, here we go. Security check. mile an hour speed limit in here. According to what was on the pavement there. I gotta burn a hard one to the right here. And there's our flag down there. See that, Granny? Dang it. Had me all excited. Here we are. Safe and sound and snug as a bug. <laughs> oh, you're just too cheerful, Granny. Yeah, they're giving me all these nasty parking things because uh, I've got uh, hard parking turned on. Well, I don't quite see that. Uh, I must be hidden back in there. Let's have a 
Oh wait a minute, let's go back and look at the map. I think it's right over here somewhere. Oh, it knows up in here and have a look. I don't know if we're able to go very far into this yard here. Oh, that's weird. I don't see it right over there. Uh, and I don't know if we can drive. No, they got a little barrier there, barricades. Okay, we'll have to uh, grab the keyboard. We'll fly our way around and have a look for this spot. Oh, on the other side, okay. And they have a barrier there. We're there. Can we go through there? Yeah, we can. All right, we got a plan. That's easy enough. Let's go back inside. Don't hit that. I almost hit the Control F9 button there. That would have brought us crashing down to the earth from our vantage point up there. got the wind deflector on there because I was uh, hauling a taller trailer before and I didn't take it off. Look a bit like a putz driving around with that on there, but uh, with this load, but it's tall enough, I guess, to warrant it. Too sloppy, you can't leave it like that. Straighten around a little bit, we have some pride. Even if we do travel with our grandmother, not that there's anything wrong with grandmothers. I had two. Well, actually, I never met one. She died when my dad was young. But I had another one, she was great. Uh, let's see. Lights. And there we are. We should have our first World of Truck event completed. And we got paid for it. Oh, wow, that's not bad, hauling that lumber for a short trip like that. Oh, I've got two events. How do you get two on one trip? Maybe I already had one, but I didn't think so. Anyway, well, thanks for following along, guys. Oh, and the other thing I was going to mention, you're going to see, uh, well, before you see this video, I also have a tutorial out on how I set up my Toby eye tracker. So, like, you know, you can see that's, you know, that's what I'm using to look around. And uh, it's, uh, it's a handy device. It's kind of cool. You can kind of pan your head and watch stuff. It's neat when trains go by. You can kind of watch them go through. And uh, I like it. You look down and look up a bit. I have that toned down a lot, but this rotational motion I got kind of tuned the way I like it. Anyway, I talk about that in that little video. So if you haven't seen it, check it out. And uh, as always, uh, appreciate the heck out of you guys. And um, if you hadn't subscribed, maybe consider it. And if you have, thanks very much. And if you enjoyed it, give her a, a thumbs up and a like and uh, comment if you feel then. You know, feel like it. I'm always, I, I try and respond to every comment. So, um, yeah, suggestions, things to do down the road, places you want to see. I'm open to it all, guys. So, as always, take care. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye for now.